Welcome to another Big Jimny video. Well, it's been a month since I purchased this SZ4 commercial and I just thought I'd give you an update on how things are going with it. So let's deal with the problems first. I've had two issues with it. When we first bought it, we had a TPMS issue. This turns out to be something that is common across the SZ4 commercials at the moment and it's to do with the updating of the software in the dealer systems. The dealer has a TPMS uh, activation tool and they also have a laptop which talks to the system. And both of those need software updates uh, in, or in order to reset the TPMS system on this particular variant of car. If they haven't done the update, then the TPMS isn't set correctly as it leaves the dealers and you get an alert. So it took me a couple of days to sort that out with my local dealer and eventually we got the whole of the system reset and everything is now just fine. However, in doing that I've learned a lot about TPMS systems and in fact I'll produce a separate video fairly soon that takes you through the tyre pressure monitoring system in a bit more detail. The other more minor issue I've had is the radio. The radio, when I was driving along uh, the other day, suddenly switched off on its own and then two seconds later switched on again. And at that point, the memories in the, uh, recorded in the tuner, the tuner memories to press the buttons to select the channels, had all been set to empty. So I'd lost all of my programming. And the radio still works, I've just readjusted it and reprogrammed them today. It's working, but there was this mysterious reset that occurred. So I've yet to follow that up with anyone. I'll keep my eyes open for bulletins on the Suzuki uh, dealer website to see if there's a known problem with this particular radio resetting. So what about the driving experience? So many of you know that we've actually got uh, an SZ5 as well, uh, one of the new 2019 SZ5s, and this one is not dissimilar. Okay, the specification is slightly lower, but it turns out that it's a, a nice car to drive. It's very fun. Um, I particularly love it, to be honest with you. Uh, our little mule that is being used to carry stuff around. We've done a couple of longer trips on it. I've taken it down to the coast and back, which involved a 50 mile return trip on the motorway. And it handles the motorway just fine. I know a lot of reviewers say uh, they are not very good on the motorway, but I suspect that that's because they haven't driven such a small car uh, in a long time and a car that's based on older technology. For me it was fine, it sat at 65 on the cruise control all the way there and all the way back without any trouble at all uh, and it's not a bad drive. Now I'm just under six foot tall, I know there have been some reports of the seating position uh, affecting some people because of the partition. Well it doesn't affect me, it's just about right. The seat position is Okay, it's right back against the grill, but it's about the right position for me. And I was happy to do that uh, probably one hour, 15 minutes, maybe 90 minute journey uh, there and back without any problem at all. So in terms of seating, it's pretty comfortable. Of course, around town, it's just exactly what we like. A small car, nippy, parks easily. And I particularly really do like the fact that it's a van. Um, before... I bought it, uh, I was doubtful to be honest with you about buying a van. Uh, it seemed alien to me but we know from the SZ5 that we spend all of the time with the seats down in the back and therefore this one with its continual open space in the back is just great. Shopping goes in and out as you can see here the dogs have their dog bed in it when they want to and we can take them for walks. It's just ideal so for me it's the perfect little a runabout shopping car that can just occasionally stretch its legs a little bit longer. So those of you who have been watching the video will also know that I have been doing some modifications to the vehicle over this month so let's just take a walk around and see what I've been doing. As you know it is my aim to try and bring it up closer to the SZ5 specification over the weeks um, but as well as that just to do some cosmetic upgrades to make it my car as, as they say. Starting around the front, you would have seen some pictures and videos that I have bought the Urban Pack, which is a pack of accessories uh, with which to sort of uh, improve or change the look of your car. So the Urban Pack consists of the front grille here, so you can see we've changed the front grille. 
this was a simple bolt-on uh, clipping job and I've got a little video on how that is done uh, at the top of the screen. Within the Urban Pack you also get this front garnish, this silver garnish. Um, now I've fitted that also to our SZ5 so there's a previous video on how that one fits. Again it's at the top of the screen now. I know there's a bit of controversy over these because yes it does re reduce the departure angle under here but um, how often am I actually going to be off-roading this severely? Virtually never. The only thing I would and I like, like to have seen is where you've got this sort of grey colour on the grill that this perhaps should have been offered in that grey colour as well. I've also again in another video changed the DRL lights to LEDs uh, just to brighten those up as well on the car. Moving around the side Again, from the Urban Pack, we have the sill garnishes, which I've stuck on. Again, I know it's a matter of taste, but to me, it helps break up the all-black finish of the car. And they just stick on the side. And again, at the top of the screen is a little video of how these were fitted to our SZ4. Moving up, I have also fitted these weather shields to the tops of the door windows. These are the genuine Suzuki ones. They just stick onto the uh, bodywork and hook under the window uh, rubbers. I like them because they let you have the window open, just a small crack to let some fresh air through. I know this has got air con on it, but it is just to let some air in. And also it actually prevents, when you get water coming off the windscreen, it prevents it actually coming in through the slight opening of the window. So it helps keep you dry with just the window slightly open. Round the back we have the final part of the urban kit which is the spare wheel cover. This is a stainless steel uh, cover with a black plastic insert um, which obviously I've started to brand uh, up with my brand on the back and also I've had the windows tinted. Um, these are tinted to the same specification as the SZ5 which means that these are about 20% uh, tints. So you can still see through them, but they just darken up the car nicely. Inside at the rear, I have fitted this Suzuki vinyl boot liner. When you look in the catalogue, you see various boot liners, including a hard based one and a rubber one, all of which at the moment are suggested don't fit into the commercial. The vinyl one, which is again aimed at the older SZ5 version, doesn't say that it doesn't fit and because it's vinyl and soft I guess that it would fit and as you can see it does fit in quite nicely it ties along the partition screen at the back and it velcros into the side panels and produces a nice way of protecting your load space. You'll also see that I have fitted this garnish here to stop the dog's paws scratching the paint but the internal boot liner does come with a flap anyway, which comes down over there so that things being loaded in and out uh, don't uh, scratch the car. Moving inside, not a lot of modifications done in here yet. I have bought an iPod mini and Velcroed it to the side of the uh, base unit under the switches and plugged it into the USB port. This means I've got all my tunes on this little tiny device tucked under there and that works just well with the radio system and I've also fitted some big Jimny armrests these are the dual versions you would have seen me fitting the storage version in the uh, SZ5 so now I've got both versions fitted to the cars uh, so I can try them out I think armrests for these are wonderful just what they need and enables you to rest your arm when you're driving so in summary, a great month. I really enjoyed having the car. It's now immediately become a sort of member of my car family. It's a great little daily drive, great fun, really enjoying having it. Managed to do some modifications during the month. I know they're not necessarily the big off-roading modifications that some of you might have liked to see done on it, but it is my daily drive. It is our little mule for getting stuff done, for driving around as a van, transporting the dogs. So it's just a family car. 
I've got some more modifications coming up. The, mod the boxes are all in the garage now, ready to fit, and I'll be videoing those over the coming month. So if you like this video, please press like. And if you want to see more of the videos, then ple please press subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. Hope to see you again in the future. Catch you further down the road.